Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. When I tell you that Kaleidoscope is so good, it's the number one show right now trending on Netflix and it is amazing, okay? First of all, the concept within itself is so unique, okay? Every single show in the series has a different color attached to it and it's put in different time frames so it's not necessarily in chronological order and it's up to the viewer to decide where they want to start so that's never happened before so shout out to robert townsend who's one of my favorite directors producers he's amazing and eric garcia who's the creator of kaleidoscope but it's so good it is one of the best shows i've seen in a very long time so let's go ahead and get into it so Giancarlo Episado is one of my favorite actors. Of course, everyone knows him from his role in Breaking Bad, but he's been in several other films and shows. So shout out to him. He is the lead character, Leo Papp. Okay. And depending on which color you strike to watch first, you choose to watch first it gives you a different narrative and a different storyline as to what happened with this family, why he's going to plan a heist, okay? And how it all goes down. So one thing that I really love about this show too is the humor. So she's one of the triplets and you have to watch to find out what that is because I'm not gonna give you guys spoilers. But I do love the fact that it says <laughs> where it is she has the queens. Um, on speed dial, but it says Charlie. So I don't think Netflix caught that in time, but I thought that was really cute that they didn't catch that in post. And so here is the chronological order, right? So again, it's up to you, the viewer, to choose where you want to watch. But of course, I did a little bit of research for you guys. So I got the time periods just, you know, just so you have a little bit of detail, you're not going in blind because some people said that they saw they would pick a, a color just randomly and then they regretted it. So I didn't want you guys to regret it. I definitely want to give you a little bit of the backstory. Right. So this is the way that I watched. You don't have to do that, but I'm just telling you what I chose because I did a little bit of research. I didn't want to be one of the regretful ones. <laughs> So I watched The Violet first, which is 24 years before the heist. Then I watched The Green, seven years before. Then The Yellow, which is six weeks before. Then The Orange, which was two weeks before the heist. Then The Blue episode, not five days before the heist. The White is the heist. And The Red, the morning after the heist. And then Pink is six months after the heist. So... I didn't want to be surprised <laughs> because one, I have a duty to you guys. And two, you know, I like to see things in order, but that's just me. Because again, as I was doing some research and I love the way that this is just chaotic. Okay. Some people were like really bummed out that they watched it in an order that they wouldn't have, you know, originally if they could go back and do it all over again, they would have. So a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, I'm bummed out. I'm regretted. I you know, shouldn't have watched it in this order. So I was like, let me research for my golden butterflies out there and find out what's the best way to watch it. So I did do it chronologically, but you don't have to do that. But I definitely wanted to give you guys the option, right? So again, like, you know, here is if you want to do it in a like, Tarantino film type of way. So like the blue first would be five days before, and then the green would be seven years before, and then the yellow would be, you know, eight weeks before, then the orange would be three weeks before, and then the violet is like 24 years before, and then boom, pink is like, you know, five months after, then the high, then the white is the highest, the actual event, and then red is the morning after. So that's like the Tarantino way. Again, I love this, right? Because you can be your own kind of director and decide what time frame you choose to watch the, the events unfold. I think that's brilliant. Like Netflix, 
absolutely amazing. Here we have in the classic detective story style. So we have the orange, which is three weeks before, and then the green is seven years before, and then like shooting all the way back to violet, which is 24 years before, and then boom, the red, which is like the morning after. <laughs> It's just crazy. They don't even tell you like what happened, right? And then the yellow is like eight weeks before, then the blues five days before, and then the actual heist, and then like the months after that. So I think that that's like that's that's such a unique way to to design a TV show. Kind of choose your own adventure. I love it. Here is the orange is the new black framework, which is amazing as well. So we have green, which is seven years before, and then violet, 24 years before, and then boom, the morning after, which is red. Then we have orange three weeks before, and then back to eight weeks before with the yellow, and then blue is five days before, and then white is the actual heist. And then we have the pink, which is like months after. So... I think that that's brilliant. Like kudos to Netflix for giving us something new and allowing the audience the autonomy over how they want to form their own kaleidoscope. I think that the the naming it is the brilliant is just magnificent because I used to love, you know, holding kaleidoscopes up to the light as a kid and seeing the different colors and the different formations and in order to do that here, that's just, that's brilliant. To give us the actual freedom to choose our own adventure and to choose how we want to lay out how we view the series and in what time frame. That's that's brilliant, like Eric Garcia. And on top of everything, I found out that it's based loosely on a true story dealing with Hurricane Sandy. So basically what ends up happening is that Eric Garcia, who is the creator and the writer of Kaleidoscope, he found that there was reported $70 billion in bearer bonds, which were in a vault that were that came out of Hurricane Sandy. Like, can you imagine that? Because Hurricane Sandy hit New York City in the latter month of October, so late October 2012, and the floodwaters made their way into a large depository located beneath the New York Underground Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation. Okay, so this is linked to some of Wall Street's biggest firms, and the vault housed more than 1.7 million dollar bonds and stock certificates that were soaked by water. But but among those contents was also reported $70 billion in bearer bonds, okay? So that's, of course, key to the movie. It's not a spoiler though, but that's key because you find out what happens and why when you, of course, watch it and choose your own adventure. But this was amazing. The fact that, you know, Hurricane Sandy inspired Eric Garcia to write this. I'm like, that's brilliant. So bearer bonds, of course, can be used as cash to buy anything from, you know, stolen jewels to stolen art. I mean, it's basically like black market gold. It's untraceable. So that's why bearer bonds are so huge. Okay. And you find out again, how they're untraceable, why they're so valuable, et cetera, et cetera, when you watch the show. But it's a mastermind. It really is. And Eric Garcia said that if he was ever going to play in a heist, Hurricane Sandy would be the perfect cover because everything's underwater and everyone's distracted trying to rebuild after the hurricane. So I think that it's brilliant. I love, like I said, the chaotic design that gives the audience the autonomy and the freedom to to choose their own framework and their own directorial style. Like I love the fact that, you know, we went from a Quentin Tarantino to Orange is the New Black to me wanting to do it in chronological order, just so I could have an idea to give you guys the the option, right? But 
yeah, check it out for yourself. And of course, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys thought. And tell me what, what color you chose first, okay? I'll talk with you lovelies later. Take care. Bye.